welcome welcome to sweet annie's life today we are going to be looking at a recipe of in the kitchen with annie a recipe that a lot of people don't like but i want to share this recipe because for some reason i felt like i felt like eating it for a couple of days now so i just said well why not bring my family in here with me and that is a recipe that has been a big seller a big seller at my uh, restaurant that i had in barbados it was just a small neighborhood um, bar restaurant but on saturday mornings i would sell something we call um bajan pudding and sauce i don't know who of you know about that obviously the bajans who know about it but that is a recipe that was a big seller on saturday mornings for bajans and this is one of the things i had on the menu with the pudding and sauce along with the breadfruit and the sweet potato pudding and steamed sweet potato pickled pork if y'all wanted to see how i do the pickled pork you could let me know and then this as well so it is going to be are you ready for it are you ready for it pickle chicken feet and these are my chicken feet already boiled what i did is i prepared a lot of this stuff because i didn't want to take up too much time in this video bajan pickle chicken feet <laughs> all right the first thing i have are my cucumbers and these are all what I did was soak the cucumbers in some water and you can soak it in a little vinegar water just to clean off anything these are my lemons and I already I already squeezed two lemons because this is my lemon juice this is my lemon juice that I am going to be using. And this recipe is just the traditional way. You can put other things in it if you want to do. But I like it the traditional way, the old time way. And that's why I'm not good because you know if you put garlic and tomato and celery and all those things that just throws off the taste so i am making it the traditional way this is my lemon peel because you know i tell y'all i don't throw away anything there's my lemon peel from my lemons i'm going to put this to dry because i'm going to use this for something and also the because these are my chicken feet and um, they already boiled. I boiled them with a little pepper, some thyme, some um, set, uh, parsley, um, well, salt, of course, onion, and all that to give it some flavor. And I I'm not going to throw away the water from that because these have a lot of strength in them. They are very great for women. It helps with the collagen and everything is rich in collagen. And for men, it is good. Men love it because it gives them stamina and strength and to do whatever it is they have to do. And feel strong doing it and y'all know what I mean anyway this is my onion this is my hot pepper and as I say 
I just, well, these are habanero peppers, so they're not as hot as the ones that you would find in Barbados because we have the Scotch bonnet. And this is my parsley. Already, I cut up all these things because I didn't want to have to do them. And I grated my onion. You can chop it if you like. And this is my salt. So that's my all my ingredients here. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to look at doing our, let me just move this a little bit. We're going to look at doing our cucumber. Now, I don't take off all the skin off of the cucumber because I want some of the, the skin because the skin is very strengthening for you. When I make my juices and stuff like that, I leave all my skins in. And all right. Okay, so this is uh, my cucumber almost. No, this look pretty, you know, like cucumber strips skin strips and I'm going to keep that because I might be making some cucumber and celery juice today so I'm going to keep that to put in my my juice can't waste in this day and age all right so we have this all done our cucumber strips here Gotta get something to put it in. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just gonna cut this, cause I'm gonna cut it in like cubes to put in my food processor. And the reason I'm putting it in my food processor, but let me show you how the old, oops, I should have before I think. Let me show you how the older generation used to do it. I used to see my grandmother just do this, right? Just do like this and then cut it fine. But you know, modern day technology. So I am using the food processor basically to do the same thing. But I love, I love the fact that they used to do everything from hand by hand. All right, so just let me move my cucumber skin strip. All right, um, now I cut up all my cucumbers to put in the food processor and I am going to put some at a time. The thing about the cucumbers here is that they don't spout as much water as they used to spout in in, uh, Bar uh, in Barbados. The ones in Barbados spout a lot of water, so I'll see how my pickle will come out. So I didn't have to put any extra water in it or anything like that, but I hope that I don't have to put any extra water in it because it should spout. Then you're gonna hear a little noise. And what I'm doing, I'm gonna put it on the pulse because I don't want it to get too fine. So I'm going to just pulse it so that it could get to the texture that I want it. And I'm just gonna put the, the rest there. that side I hope that y'all enjoying this um, in the kitchen with Annie because 
this is just for me to eat because my daughter she's not here right now but she's not gonna she would not have eaten any anyway <laughs> All right, that looks as though it is good enough for me. So I am just going to take this off and we are going to put it in our pan. Once again, guys, so we are just putting our cucumber doesn't it look nice? Once again, if y'all like this recipe, y'all can just, y'all can just let me know that you like this recipe. I want to make pepper sauce, but I am not finding the peppers. But as soon as I find the peppers, I am going to definitely make some Bajan pepper sauce and show y'all if there's anything else that y'all want to see on In the Kitchen with Annie, just let me know. This is my cucumber. So now we are going to put, we are going to put, so let's put some onion in it. Use my gloves with my hand. And I'm going to put half of this because you can always put to taste. My grand always used to say you could put in, but you can't take out. So we're going to put in some first, then we're going to taste it. And see, this is my pepper. And that's one thing the, the rum drinkers loved about putting in sauce too. It was hot. That one is cut too big. It was hot. So these peppers aren't very hot. So I'm not too bothered about the heat. But as I say, you could put in, but you can't say go. This is my parsley. And I'm going to put in, you can never get too much parsley. That's my parsley. And once again, look at my cucumber, cucumber skins, guys. Nice little strips. And this is my lemon juice. I'm going to put in half. And then I'm going to put in the other half and, um, if it needs it or some more if it needs it. But once again, this is the old time traditional. This is the old time traditional recipe. If you want other things in it because you want a, a different taste to it, you could think. But this is the old time Bajan pudding and not pudding, but sauce. Um, chicken feet sauce though, not pork sauce. So we're going to put in some salt, a little bit of salt. And once again, we put these things to taste. And the good thing about it is that you don't have to do too much with the cucumber because when you boil your feet in what you want to boil it in you could even if you wanted to give it more of a flavor you could even put in some chicken stock and boil your feet in it um but let me just let me get the rest of this here and yes family this is my pickle and as you can see it has a juice so it spouted its own juice so i don't have to put any water or anything in it but um doesn't it look beautiful it looks delicious and i'm going to enjoy these because i'm going to boil so i'm going to do some sweet um 
sweet potato with it and you know just steam sweet potato and I'm all set ah pickle tastes great it needs a little bit more salt because as I said you can put in but you can't take out can't even taste the pepper so, so I put in more pepper I put in more parsley yeah laughing at me don't laugh at me don't laugh at me I could hear y'all from there don't laugh at me it's just that I'm making this for me so welcome to in the kitchen with Annie and for those of you that are new to this channel I have um, a whole set of different things on the channel because my channel deals with various things it deals with natural herbs and tinctures and hair stuff and skin stuff and a whole set of things so if you are new before I put in that let me taste again Ah, oh, now it is perfect. It is perfect, family. So we are going to add our chicken feet to that. And we are going to just get it all mixed in. And oh um for the chicken feet i don't forget family you have to you have to clip off the nails can't leave on the nails i went somewhere and somebody had left on the nails you can't leave on the nails you have to clip the nails off and it's better to clip them off after you boil because they would be nice and soft now this is a good recipe to eat with to eat with your bread fruits your sweet potato your steamed bread fruit your steamed sweet potato this is an awesome recipe so this is my pickle chicken feet all done and i'm excited to eat these so i hope that y'all enjoyed this recipe and once again Hi guys. Guys, i hope that y'all enjoyed that recipe and if you did it would be greatly appreciated if you will give me a like a share and subscribe if you want to see more of in the kitchen with danny because i have some other things that I want to share with you but doing it the Bajan way because I live in the USA now but I am from Barbados and so I just wanted to share this recipe with you and I am going to go and enjoy my pickled chicken feet so I hope that that was encouraging to you because for me less is more less is more so as you can see i didn't put too much things in it you don't have to put as much pepper as me because you might not be a pepper person you might not want as much um much salt it it could vary but as i said i'm going to keep my water that my feet were boiled in because i freeze it and I could use it in soups. I could use it in soups. I could use it in stews. I could use it in anything. So I hope that you enjoy this time with me because just as much as I enjoy bringing it to you. So once again, have an awesome, awesome, awesome week. And I will see you again next time. Spread the love.